Hello everyone, it's Tony Schiavone and welcome to the AEW Control Center. The Control Center is on the road this week. We are coming to you from Detroit, where tonight at Little Caesars Arena, we bring you blood and guts. And it's all coming your way live on TBS, eight o'clock, seven central. And for you fans coming to the arena in Detroit tonight, get there early. Special matches just for you, beginning at seven o'clock and tickets available at AEWTIX.com. All right, now let's take a look at Blood and Guts, Two Rings, the Giant Steel Cage, the Battleground, and this time it's gonna be six on six as members of the Jericho Appreciation Society will take on members of the Blackpool Combat Club. We're talking about the new interim AEW World Champion, John Moxley, Wheeler Yuta, and the newest member of the Combat Club, Claudio, teaming with Eddie Kingston, Santana, and Ortiz. Let's take a special look at this two-ring double steel cage that you will see tonight. I think Forbidden Door was such a success because you have the two top wrestling companies in the entire world, All Elite Wrestling and New Japan Pro Wrestling, joining forces for a pay-per-view event. And three years ago, that seemed completely impossible. That seemed like it would never, ever happen. When you go into Forbidden Door, there's just more than win-loss records on the line. It's, it's about pride, and you're gonna put everything you have into winning that matchup because it's not just about your standing within your company, it's about your standing within the professional wrestling world. And then to turn around just three days later and to have to walk into one of, if not the most brutal match in all of pro wrestling, blood and guts, is just, I don't know how you can shift your focus on a dime like that. That really speaks to the level of athletes that we are dealing with here in this match. Chris, I will never be satisfied until I taste your blood. I want to see if it pumps Kool-Aid, baby. I want to see how a coward's blood tastes. Because you know a coward dies a thousand deaths, Chris. The hatred between Eddie Kingston and Chris Jericho. But people like me, people like Santana and Ortiz, people like poor young Yuda and Moxley. We're soldiers and we only die one death. Did you see what happened tonight? Did you see what happened at the end of the Forbidden Door? You see the blood on my face? John Moxley's blood? Whoa, whoa, wait, 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 wait! That's Jericho and Garcia? They're not waiting for blood and guts. These guys who are beat to hell, they got to be fatigued, and these two guys are getting this unfair advantage. What happened in Las Vegas? What happened to Brian Danielson? Huh? Do we need to lose another one? I don't think so! Because that's what's gonna happen in Detroit! How about it? You know, what he's saying is, he's so accurate. Was, was anarchy in the arena not enough? Eddie Kingston, you wanna stand there and you wanna call Chris Jericho a coward. Coward! You wanna call us all cowards because we're sports entertainers! Boys, let's not forget what happened at Anarchy in the Arena. We took the fight to you, and we took one out. Blood and guts, we're gonna take a lot more! Are you a coward, Danny Garcia? I ain't, huh? I, I ain't a coward at all. I ain't a coward at all. I ain't a coward at all. There's one thing that I'm not is a coward. Now, I'm gonna show you proof right now. Look at this. You see my shoe? You see this bloodstained shoe? Blood! This is John Mott's season with blood on my garments right now. And Suzuki and I won the match tonight. No problem. We have the man advantage. Advantage. At Blood and Guts, we've got the experience of Blood and Guts. And this Wednesday on Dynamite, we're gonna tear your heads off out and stick them down your throats. If you look at it on paper, you could say that the Jericho Appreciation Society has a slight advantage over the Blackpool Combat Club. Uh, Eddie Kingston, John Moxley, Wheeler Yuta, these guys have really tough matches at Forbidden Door. But the thing they also have is motivation. Whatever bumps, bruises, fatigue these guys have, I think they're gonna be able to put it aside for this one match. What the f What's your mind? What's your mind? I'm not doing this with him. Yeah, I'm gonna do whatever you Eddie, want. I'm not hey, doing you're doing it like one. Ladies and gentlemen, be kind to your children, put them to bed, because at 9.30 on Wednesday night, on Dynamite, AEW is going to see something 
that it may have seen before, but never to this extreme. Mr. Rico, let them know why I want to fight him. Blood and guts. My name is William Regal, you know that. This man, Claudio Castagnoli, is now a member of the Blackpool Combat Club. Being a blood and guts match, everybody says, well, that's very different from what you do or what you're used to. Is it? John Moxley, the new AEW champion. What a war, what a battle, what a match. Wheeler Utah, terror on the rise. Gentlemen, it's an honor to share a ring with Santana and Ortiz. Hey, what a brawl we've got going on here all around the ring. Everything just coming unglued here tonight. You're going to see something that you've never, ever witnessed. We are going to leave every drop of violent venom that's left running through our veins in that ring so you can have the most terrifying night of your life. Obviously, there is a lot of bad blood, and really, the bad blood centers on two men, Eddie Kingston and Chris Jericho. We'll see what transpires tonight. One would think, with John Moxley winning the world title at Forbidden Door this past Sunday, that the Blackpool Combat Club has a lot of, let's say, momentum coming into this big double ring steel cage event, which is tonight here in Detroit. In addition, we will have a match the Open Challenge continues for the TBS Championship as the champion undefeated Jade Cargill will defend against Layla Gray. That'll be the night here in Detroit as part of Dynamite Blood and Guts live on TBS. Should be a great matchup tonight. All ego Ethan Page of the Men of the Year to take on Orange Cassidy one-on-one. -on -one. It's all tonight as part of Blood and Guts in Detroit, Little Caesars Arena, and don't forget it's live on TBS 8 o'clock, 7 central. For you fans coming to Detroit, get there early. We start with matches at 7 o'clock. The tickets are available at AEWTIX.com. As you know, the event right after our pay-per-views, it's called the Fallout From. Well, this tonight will be the Fallout From Forbidden Door. At Forbidden Door, we crown the first ever All-Atlantic Champion. It was the Bastard Pack who won the four-way match. Here are comments after Forbidden Door went off the air from the Bastard Pack. Considering I am so often forgot about in this territory, please allow me this opportunity to reintroduce myself. My name is The Bastard. The people name me that because I am a bastard. But on top of that, in addition to, I just so happen to be an excellent, exceptional, world-class professional wrestler in this AEW All-Atlantic Championship. That stands as validation to that. And now, he locks in the Brutalizer! And let it be known, I'm not shy. If any of you brave boys and this is a global invitation. If any of you have the balls to step to the bastard, well, I promise you want some, I'll give it you. And that's all I've got to say about that. Pack the first ever AEW All-Atlantic Champion, and you can better believe he is going to be a great champion. Another great champion is our women's champion, Thunder Rosa, who successfully at Forbidden Door defended her AEW women's title. After Forbidden Door, we hear these comments from Thunder Rosa. Thunder Rosa, the AEW women's world champion. She has been so since March 16th when she defeated Dr. Britt Baker, DMD, inside the solid steel cage. Tonight was honestly such a nerve-wracking night. I mean, we were the only women's match in the whole entire card. I did not only wanted to show that La Mera Mera is la jefa de este lugar, but I wanted to show to everyone what real competition is, and that is Tony Storm. Before I became someone, I used to look up to her when she was in Japan as a champion. 
I used to say to myself, one day I am gonna wrestle her. One day the world is gonna see what two women that are great competition can do in that ring. And tonight, when I was out there, I felt special. Thunder, oh, oh, planted. Might be the end of the match, guys. Thunder Rosa retain. No! How the hell did Storm kick out? She took the Thunder Driver, and I was not able to finish her with that. Oh, the final reckoning of Paige on a oh, Dustin boy. Rhodes playbook! And it scores the win! I had to use something different. The final reckoning. A move that Dustin Rhodes passed on to me, my coach. Because she is hard to beat. She is real competition. And I hope, I really, really hope, it's not over yet. You see right here the respect amongst these two ladies. Tough night right there for Tony Storm. Nothing to be ashamed of, though. Thunder Rosa, still the AEW Women's World Champion. There was a winner-take-all match. And the team that took it all was FTR. Right now, Dax and Cash are the IWGP World Tag Team Champions, the Ring of Honor World Tag Team Champions, and the AAA World Tag Team Champions. Let's hear from FTR after their great win at Forbidden Door this past Sunday. For the better part of 10 years, all we've wanted to do is be the greatest tag team of all time. Uh, and now, holding the tag team championships of Ring of Honor, AAA, and the IWGP Tag Team Championships, the Heavyweight Tag Team Championships, um, means that we can put our names beside not just Arn Tolley, not just Midnight Express, not just the Hart Foundation, but also we can put our names beside Muda and Hase, we can put our names beside Bigelow and Vader, we can put our names beside uh, the Steiner Brothers, and uh, we're able to, to say, yeah man, we're in the same class, and maybe we had that class. We told everybody that would listen that we were gonna be the absolute best tag team on this planet and people laughed at us. And now those same people, when we leave the room holding four, five, six, seven different titles, they have to talk bad about us because that's the only way they're gonna stop FTR. That's the only way you can hold us down because in that ring, I dare you. I dare you to try. They put a chip on our shoulder eight years ago and now we got championship on every one of them. I can't even situate these bad boys right. But if you think that any team on this planet is gonna be better than us ever. You're wrong. There's nothing in this world that means more to us. Like he says, it's an entity. Here's the thing you gotta understand is we're true Southern North Carolinians with a crazy ass accent. We're barely scratching the surface of five foot 10. Uh, we ain't got the bodies that, uh, you know, you're used to seeing in the muscle and fitness magazine. We had to overcome every sing single obstacle to be able to leave our name uh, etched in the, in, the, in the history books of professional wrestling. And that's what we wanted to do because we love it because we want to be the best. And right now, I think uh, holding the Ring of Honor, the AAA and the IWGP Heavyweight Tag Team Championships, I think that puts us in the uh, in the discussion for greatest of all time. But there's one other belt we need. And, uh, that might be the uh, AEW World Tag Team Championships. Now, coming in tonight, we were uh, six star FTR. Walking out tonight, we're seven star FTR. And we're not done yet. By the end of our careers, when it's all settled, we want you to call us the Milky Way because there's so many stars over this. Dax and Cash now with three championships. How about that? Not many teams can say that. Forbidden Door, if you missed it, you can see the Encore presentation. It's available on Bleacher Report or wherever you get your pay-per-view broadcasts. Join us for Forbidden Door. It's one the world has been talking about. Okay, fans, now look at where AEW will be coming in the next few weeks. Next Wednesday, July 6th, we return to Rochester, New York and the Blue Cross Arena. In two weeks, on July 13th, our debut in Savannah, Georgia at the Endmark Arena. And then in three weeks, on July 20th, we return to the Atlanta area in Gwinnett County, Duluth, Georgia at the Gath South Arena. As always, you can get your tickets at AEWTIX.com for these big events. But make your plans right now to join us as tonight we present Blood and Guts, Two Rings, The Double Steel Cage in Detroit, coming to you from here at the Little Caesars Arena. We take the air at 8 o'clock Eastern, 7 Central, and live on TBS. I'm Tony Schiavone from the Control Center in Detroit. We'll see you tonight in Detroit at ringside. We are AEW. It's Wednesday. You know what that means. Blood and Guts! Two rings inside one giant cage. It's AEW's Blood and Guts. The Jericho Appreciation Society face Team Blackpool Combat Club.
with its newest addition. Welcome to AEW. Claudio Casagnoli. AEW Wednesday Night Dynamite, live tonight at 8 on TBS.